I'm Joanne and welcome to my channel. I was able to get another Goodwill Blue Box. This one came from Nashville, Tennessee. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and see how this one compares to my last two, which came from New Jersey. So far, New Jersey was really good to me. So we'll see if Nashville, I love visiting Nashville, been there several times. Um, but I don't know their jewelry situation, so I'll just see what's going on. Oh my goodness, definitely a fun box to try to open here. Okay, this one's not bagged up. New Jersey, they bag all their jewelry up. It's pretty full box full. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and just get started, I guess. I'm looking in, I don't see anything that's screaming to me, but lots of colors, lots of beads. All right, Get over to the side. Okay, first thing I grabbed is a very sparkly, full of rhinestones necklace. Um, it's very clean, no maker's mark on it. Here's like a little hang tag on the back. All right, that's not bad at all. Okay, here is a long strand of beads. Looks like it's on a card. Okay, this is really tangled up there. Something is attached. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is not a great start with a big tangle. All right, let's see. All right, so we have fashion jewelry. Okay, that's not really a good sign when you see fashion jewelry <laughs> on it. That means, oh, and a bunch of hairs. There we go. Yeah. All right. So yeah, it's wearable. It's not anything amazing, but could end up in a craft lot or maybe, yeah, probably craft. Um, here's a palm tree brooch. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Here's a wooden bead bracelet. I'm going to put that into craft put that over to the side. Oh my, there's a large pendant coming out here somewhere and a bracelet. Let's get these. These are a lot more tangled than the New Jersey box. All right, so this one is wearable. It's just a silver tone with this little charm hanging off of it. Here's an earring, some earrings over there. I'm under the box a little bit. Okay. This one. Oh my. It seems like there's a lot more jewelry in here than the New Jersey bags um, as far as quantity, but let's see what the quality is here. We got some little fish mother pearl on kind of a string bracelet. And this one's interesting. This one is a little boho piece. It has a large pendant with like copper, silver tone on it. I don't see any kind of maker's mark on it, but that's, that's actually pretty fun. Ugh. Okay, here's... A broken, yeah, there's no clasp on it, but these are some pretty little glass beads on it here. So that could be repurposed. Put a new clasp on it, rewear it. Okay, look at this one. Wow, that's got a lot of rhinestones and it's missing one. So that's not going to be a wearable piece, but wow, look at that bracelet though. Anyways. It's not real silver. I don't see any silver marks. I see the copper coming through. But this this is something. That is a huge bling bracelet. Um, this would be great to take all these little pieces apart to craft with. So I'll put that into craft. All right, this is dirty. It needs a good cleaning. Um, but it's plastic. 
and it has a tag on it, Simple Addiction. I think after it has a bath, it probably could be worn. There's nothing broken on it or anything. Put it down here for some attention. All right, I see we got some major tangles in there. By anything that I don't have to. There we go. Here's something. Okay, so this one is pretty. It's a seed bead braided necklace. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, earring. Okay, here's the memory bracelet. That's in okay condition. Nothing wrong with it, just plastic beads. All right, here's a brooch. I guess it's a brooch, yeah. Um, okay, it's a flower. It's made out some kind of, feels like, oh my, feels like a basket material. Yeah, okay, so there's that. I'm gonna put that into craft. Okay, there's this in there. This is cute. It's a large lizard. We get a lot of these in Florida. Real ones. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, another brooch. And silver tone. Uh, vintage is this Korea bead necklace. Okay, that's wearable. Here's like a braided. It's um, like a ribbon braided bracelet and an earring. Here's a pair of earrings that are connected. Yeah, it has a little bit of wear, not too bad. Here's two earrings. Oh, I like this one. Um, this one's a little bead earring, nothing on it. This one's cute, it looks vintage. That's real cute. It's like little pieces of jade or jadeite on it. Okay. There's a ring. Well, this is funky. Um, it has some damage on it. It's one of those double rings. I'm just going to throw that into craft. And this one's pretty. This has a lot of different... Oh, here's something attached to it. Oh, I like that earring. I mean, hopefully there's a pair. We'll see. It's got like a little stone and some glass beads. Um, this one's a pretty nice looking piece. It is a loft, a Taylor loft. Okay, that one's pretty good. And Taylor's, I mean, that's not going to be a big seller individually, but it's still a good little piece. Here's an earring. And here's a brooch, a leaf. All right, these are some of those like silk beads. I usually just pop these into craft. Somebody could craft with them. And this one is a statement necklace. Let me put this one over there, that earring. No maker's mark or anything on it, but it's in good shape. It's really clean. So there's that one. Not bad. Nothing so far that's, like, you know, going to pay for the box, but, you know, it's okay. There is a Trafari. Actually, this has a little crown on the top. A little Trafari vintage pair. Um, looks like a teal colored plastic bead necklace. All right, put that over there with the Ann Taylor one. Here's a plastic faux pearl necklace. No damage to it. Just not anything, you know, ex super exciting, but it is wearable or somebody could craft with it. Here's um, some more of those silk kind of beaded necklace, and this is in all different pastel colors, but I'm going to put that into craft. Here's a 
here is a silver tone. Oh, it's a lucky brand. That's not bad bracelet. It's really small, but that's pretty good. It has a little green on it right there. I'm going to have to clean it up, but that's actually pretty nice. And I'm trying to grab things that I can get to without all the tangles. All right, here's, oh, that's funny. I'm Joanne, and <laughs> there's a J, um, and it looks in good shape. This is a fossil. That's nice. I would probably never wear this, but that's too funny that a J bracelet is in my box. Okay, not bad. I don't know if I will keep that or not, because um, I doubt I would actually wear it, but that's pretty cool. Okay, I had some earrings escape and one stuck to this bracelet this one's not silver or anything okay there's an older clip earring all right lots of rhinestones on this it's kind of scrunched together let's see if we can make it look better Arr. okay it might be wearable kind of oops maybe not something just fell off we'll look at that a little bit closer All right, and then there's this, very boho, um, a little bit worn here, so it'll go into craft, but that's actually not too bad. Um, somebody could wear it, clean it up, but we'll put it into craft. This is a brooch that looks like little, yeah, it just has wear on it. We'll put that into craft. More craft in this box and the New Jersey boxes, but this is actually pretty much the norm of these boxes. The New Jersey ones were wonderful. There wasn't very much craft in them at all. Okay, this one, oops, we just lost the pendant. This is one of those magnetic necklaces, but it's actually in decent condition. So it is a wearable item. All the little rhinestones are there. That's not bad at all. Lots of tangles. Um, here's a pendant. Okay. Here's an, another earring. A bracelet with a little dragonfly on it. It says dream on the other side. Okay. This one is... This is a cold water creek. All right, that's not bad. It's in good condition. It's just, you know, not something that's going to pay for the box. So we'll put that over the other kind of brand named jewelry. Okay, we have some more earrings. Earrings. I'll try matching these up at the end and see what we got. If we got any pairs or not. There's a lot more earrings in this box. Ooh, that's pretty. That one is an earring, but wow, there's a lot of sparkle in that. Is it silver or anything? No. Oh, that's pretty. Even if there's not another one, that'd be good to craft with. Some more earrings. Yeah, I'm just going to make a pile of the earrings because there's so many of them, and we'll look at them at the end. So, there's those. And these. Now, this is what I was expecting. Lots of earrings in these boxes, so... All right, so here's a necklace. Let's push this aside a little bit. And this is heavy. This is glass. Oh, it's got like a little chip in it. But the chain's gorgeous, and it definitely could be worn. It just has that little flaw. Whoops, on the side. So put that over there. There's the brooch. Oh, it looks broken. This is like porcelain. I think this is probably 1928, although no, it has some kind of brand name in there. I can't read it though, but it's damaged anyway, so we'll put that into craft. Somebody can maybe get the flower off and then repurpose the bottom part. Yeah, because it... somebody who's crafty can do that. And some more earrings. And more earrings. I'm avoiding the big tangle that's there. This one. I don't really want to tackle it yet. I'm kind of avoiding it. Okay. 
I'm gonna put that off to the side. We'll go through the ones that I can get to here. So this is pretty. This is a different chain. Um, it's gold tone. I don't see maker's mark on it, but the clasp is intact. And let's see. Yeah, that's pretty. Nice thick gold tone chain. All right, that's not bad. There's a bracelet, sea bead, another earring. All right, magnetic bracelet. How do I know? Because everything's sticking to it. Um, and it's an okay shape. I don't see maker's mark on it. It's got some little hematite beads in it. And another earring, earring. Okay, this is a large, look at that clasp on it. It's huge and it's silver tone. I don't see anything on here that indicates that it's real silver, but there's nothing wrong with it. Bracelet and more earrings. Oh, this is pretty. This is real pretty. This has a cord on it and this is incline. And then that's really pretty. The pendant. Okay, we'll put that over there. There's some brand name jewelry. Ooh, this is pretty. This one has a copper puffy heart. That's really cute. And then, oh, and this is sterling. It's 925. And it has a brand name on there. I think I've seen that one before. Um, DYN Die. Dynadema, something like that. Italy, that actually probably is a good piece right there. Yay, put that one. That's a good little piece of jewelry. Pull out some bracelets, more earrings, a hot mess. Ooh, this feels funny, like um, almost sticky, like the texture on it. It's just weird. This needs a bath. Looks like it's complete. There's no maker's mark or anything, but it just, the texture's weird on that. I gotta wash it. And there's this bracelet. Clamper bracelet without a maker's mark. And this one, this is kind of pretty. There's a little fuzzy stuck in here, but probably the tag looks in good shape. Little faux pearls. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, there's this. Um, this is a cool little clasp. Look, it's like a toggle clasp and it has the lock and then the keys on the other side. It goes through and these are just, um, they're plastic little discs, but that'll be fun to craft with. I'm gonna put that into craft. And then there's this bracelet that's a hot mess and some kind of pendant and more jewelry, more earrings, I should say. Of course, there's jewelry, more earrings. Ooh, this one's pretty. Okay, I'm, I can't put it off much longer. I'm going to have to, these are more earrings, but this one's a brooch and that one is a saddle. Okay, no maker's mark on it, but that's kind of fun. Earrings. Yeah, lots of earrings in the bottom. Okay, I'm going to kind of push this off to the side. Whoop. Take the earrings at the end. All right, so here's a necklace. This one's in great shape, actually. And it wasn't tangled. It has little leaves on it, so that's wearable. It's not a good quality, expensive piece or anything. Okay, put that over there so it doesn't get tangled. And now I'm going to go ahead and pull this pile of mess apart. Let's see what's in here. Well, that was quite a tangled mess. So let me show you what I found in there. I found these little beaded necklace that's going to go in craft. And these two 
necklaces that are going into craft. Um, this bracelet. It's probably wearable, so look at that a little bit closer. Um, this one's cute, it's a little cactus. Um, this one's really cute too. It's a little pearl in the shell costume piece. And then there's, um, this reminds me of one from earlier. There we go. So there's a little, you know, there's a little sea star, starfish, and a little fish. And then this is Disney with little Peter Pan bracelet, never grow up. And then there was this. This is wearable, but it's not a good quality piece or anything. And this ring, something's missing. So we're gonna put that into craft. And then this was pretty. These, this is all glass. And it isn't marked silver, but I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, I don't think it is silver. The clasp and everything, yeah. But it has all glass beads on it. So it's a pretty good quality piece. It's just not marked silver or anything. There's that. And then this one, I just looks like a little kid's necklace, but it's has a tag on it. It says Jill Zara. So I have to look that up. But it has these little charms dangling from it. I don't know if that has any resale value. And then there were these. This is a very ethnic type necklace with little animal wooden animal carvings and these beads on here. So that piece. And then this one is wearable, um, but they're just plastic beads. And this one's wearable, has these little coins on it, just a chain. These are like inexpensive ones. There are quite a few, just like inexpensive, junky kind of necklaces. One is a tassel, and they were not fun to detangle, so I'm keeping them separate. Some of them are prettier than others, like this one's kind of pretty. It has this red garnet colored stone and these little beads. But again, you can tell by the metal, it's not a good quality piece. You know, I don't know what it where it came from or whatever because they're not branded. And then this one with a little tassel on it, that one's kind of cute for layers. That was a hot mess. I thought I was gonna have to sacrifice it. I did sacrifice one in there. I just had to cut it to get the rest out. This one's a little better quality piece, but it's not silver. You can tell it's a little better by the extension on it. And there's these little triangles with rhinestones. I thought that was pretty. And then there's this one. This was another culprit to the tangles, but it's like a metal wire with this little thing in it. No brand name or anything. And then this is the good one in that big tangled mass. This looks really old to me. And I don't know what these are. I mean, I know they're supposed to be roses, but they're almost like flower um, fabric that's been like treated somehow because they're very firm and then there's like putty in there I don't know quite what they are they were silk flowers I don't know it just looked interesting it's like a bolo kind of style where it slides one of these slides up but if you've ever seen anything like this this is really really different I'm assuming it's old because it's not something I have seen before. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. So there's that. All right. Now I'm going to go through the earrings and see if I can find any pairs in there. All right. So none of these earrings have a mate to them. So lots of single earrings in here. I did, however, find one pair that are plastic sunflowers, and they don't even seem to match 100% because this one's real sparkly and this one's not, so I guess they really aren't a pair. Also, and there was this brooch, kind of enamel black, 
Then there were these earrings. Whoops. They don't match either, but they're both silver. So they're pretty. I was hoping I was going to find the other one because this one's like a marcasite. And they're both really pretty, but they're both silver. So I at least add that to my scrap silver. And then this one I was hoping to find because it matches that one necklace, but I didn't. And this one's really cool. Also hoping to find the other one. Um, it's got a little moon and a star. And then it says Susan L. Richardson, 1994. I'll have to look up to see if that is anything, but I thought that was kind of cute. And then also I did find some silver in there. There was this little bracelet that got scooted over and this is 925 with these little crystals in it. And then this little ring, a little pink ring, probably just glass, but that's also 925. So there was a little bit of silver, this one, this one, and these two earrings that got scooted over and some brand name jewelry. This is pretty typical. I mean, it wasn't terrible. I'm, you know, I'm hoping I can break even on here, but it was fun to go through. Very dirty. Look at my fingers compared to some other boxes, but um, pretty typical. So I would say it was an okay box. Um, let me know how you've done with Nashville before. Was there anything in here you thought was really great? Or did I miss something when I was going through it and you spotted it or you know, know about a brand that I don't, please put in comments below. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and come back again for more videos. So until next time, bye-bye.